Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius. Keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. So let's see what we have for our squiggly line sign. You have Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. Okay, so it is Akasha. We're connected with Akasha records, which keep popping up in your reading, Aquarius. But you're being divinely guided here. Your guidance, your inner guidance, because you're connected with the Akasha records. You can see in the Akasha records, Aquarius. So you can see which path you know you're supposed to take. Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? So there's something, someone or something mirroring here. And it's, it may be triggering. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. All right, Aquarius, there's deep replenishment happening for you. Retreat, resting, or right, maybe a spa day or whatever. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to be changed? See, that's why there's this mirror happening for these triggers. They kind of show you what is not aligned, what needs to go, or what needs to be changed, Aquarius. You have yes, just say yes. Star mother, how can you mother yourself? I feel like this is a yes to replenishing yourself, mothering yourself, you following your guidance here. Aquarius, you're connecting with the star mother. And it says just say yes to that. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. See, you do something to change you. Things that are not aligned in your life. See, what is not aligned or needs to be changed. You figure that out, and then you change what, what needs to be changed. All right, we have Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. All right, this is another thing that keeps coming up for you. Laying foundations, Aquarius, but we're connecting with Anna here. All right, the star mother, and then this, grandmother of Jesus. So one thing I do want to look at here, I want to look at this card, this Star Mother and this Akasha for you. That is what I feel for you. I feel like you're connected with the Akasha records here, so you're being divinely guided. You already know which path to take, and you're changing what needs to be changed. And you're replenishing yourself. All right. I have to find it in this book. Nothing's really labeled, right? So, you have the Star Mother. You are more held than you can possibly imagine. Loved and cherished so dearly, clear, so dearly now. If you knew, you would not spend one second of your life in separation, worry, or fear. Let the mother carry your burdens. Let her rock away your fears. Let all of your worries, regrets, shame, and guilt on her altar. Please, please, sweet child, do not fear. You are love in motion. If you allow it, you are already healed. Let her remind you of your goodness. Let her love away your fears. Your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. Be compassionate with your sweet body, mind, and soul. Treat yourself like the beautiful spirit that you truly are. Remind yourself that you're doing your best and try not to let it, try not to carry it all on your own. You've got this and the mother has got you. Let her broad arms take you, take away your burdens. Let her lift the weight of the world off your shoulders. Forgive yourself, my dear sweet child of the earth. All right. So we have... This one. Anna. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, was an ancient mystic who dedicated her life to laying the foundations for Christ's consciousness to be woven through all life. She's not widely known, but without her, Christ's consciousness would not be rising as it is today. Anna represents the quiet dedication that is sometimes required to live a life of service. She represents the generations that came before that devoted their lives to dreaming a new world into being while knowing that they would not see the glorious end result. She represents the dutiful soldier 
the unconditional mother and the mystic who can seed a thread that is woven throughout life. Anna teaches us that we all have a part to play in the divine plan. It doesn't have to be on the world stage to be significant. One person's part is not worthier than another. One person's part may be to, to mother their children. Another's may be to gather women in a circle each month. No part is better or worse, more important or less significant. We each have within us a seed of light that we incarnated to share. Anna is gathering us all to remember and surrender to our part of the plan. It says, Beloved Anna, thank you for laying the foundations for the divine plan. May the seeds of light within me be revealed, and may I surrender to my part of the divine plan. I have to find a kasha somewhere in this book. I don't know why this is not just number labeled or like even alphabetically. The way they have things in this book makes no sense. Akasha exists in the fifth dimension, in the library of all souls. All soul contracts, history, gifts, lessons, and more exist here. We each have access to this information of the past, present, and future and can tap into it at any time. While we have free will, there are also points on the timeline of our lives that are predestined or pre-planned. Soul contracts or agreements that were made before incarnating. Could be a company you chose to work for, a relationship you planned to have, or a person you agreed to mentor or help. Whatever it is, know that it is divinely guided and will not bypass you. If you're waiting for a sign to proceed, this card is it. You're likely living out an important part of your soul's journey. And you are exactly where you need to be. This is very exciting indeed. It is time to call in the support of your helpers, both in the physical and the spirit world. To trust the signs coming, take note of your dreams. To notice any feelings or visions that you receive, for you are tapping into the wisdom of the Akasha, and you are being given the go-ahead to proceed. And it says, I open myself up to receive the wisdom of the Akasha. I am ready to download any information from my soul records that is in my highest good and the highest good of all right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Where is those messages for you? So you just say yes to all this. I feel like I feel like that is what you're doing. You're tapping into the Kasha here, into your soul's wisdom, so that you can see all, all of what you're meant to do. Connecting with the Star Mother. Connecting with Anna here, you having your you're playing your part here in the divine's plan. All right, and you're changing what you feel is not aligned for you, and you're also replenishing yourself. Aquarius. So let's get some room, some charms to yourself. We have your own planet, Aquarius, your own ruling planet here. All right, it's definitely tapping into your own spirit. We have Hathor. We have this dragon, sea dragon, jellyfish thing. I can represent Reiki healing. We have the wolf. All right, the wolf is connection with the moon. We also have these stars on here. We have Star Mother. It could be like Star Wolf or something here. All right, but the wolf is like teamwork, which we do see that teamwork. Helping from others here, receiving help, which has been appearing in your reading quite a lot here. But the wolf is also power and instinct. You have the Dragon Lantern Boat, which can represent a festival, but we're getting the Dragon Boat and we're moving forward, Aquarius. You have the Sun Beetles, we're connected with the Sun. Alright, it can be connecting with Sirius Star System, because I can Sirius pop um, You know, like Sun God Ra. Sun God Ra is like the power of Sirius Star. That's what it's reminding me of. You have the Black Tortoise, which represents the warrior and protection. Good health and long life. We have the Green Man that you're connecting to. We have cycles being completed. And there's rewards coming in, Aquarius. So, that's all I have for you. And if you want to see more content, hit the like, subscribe. Bye, guys.